Hey guys, Braden here with ATT. I don't have a lot of time, so if you want this full version of the Awesome Pottery Trap, you can just head to patreon.com slash Podcast. We need this support. The support helps the show tremendously. You've got two ways to support Patreon or Supercast, or you can just top up the beer coffers by scanning that code and sending us some beer money. Anyways, I hope you enjoy our Awesome Pottery Cap and think about supporting the show. Thanks, guys. Enjoy. I got... I got Table for four. Well, just he, one left. Well, he, yeah, he just came out. And he's like, "You guys got tickets?" We're like, "Uh, no, we're hoping like there might be like some last minute tables we could maybe scoop up." He's like, "Yeah, I, I got a table for you. One hundred twenty bucks." So we're like, "Oh fuck, each!" And all of us <laughs> were like, "Ready to pay it?" We were ready to pay. I was like, "Oh fuck it, we're here. One hundred twenty, whatever." And he's like, "No, no, for the table for four. And we're like, "Oh, for four? And we're like, "What?" Jason, you want to uh, you want to come to the Rogan show? He's like, "Uh, yeah." Dude, if, if- <laughs> That made me so happy that the fact that, like, that situation pe- played that out that way, uh, because fuck, it was cool. Like, perfectly comes around the corner, says hi. It's like, hey, literally two minutes later, we're like, you want to come to Rogan with us? He's like, what? Like, both the things he wanted to do, he got to knock out in the first. In the well, first, it event. made it. It take it took the onus off us. It's like, listen, okay, at least this guy gets to see a real celebrity now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> come here and see us. Now he gets to see somebody actually fucking talented. Perfect. Uh, do you have Do you have his Andrew's prediction up now? Okay, well, I have the video up. I, I didn't want to play that because I wasn't sure exactly where the audio was. But I, did Andrew I, go last in that series of events? Yes. No, Dan went last. No, Dan went last. Okay, here well, let's just we'll su- we'll shuffle through on the live stream. I'll edit out this part on for post. But let's see what it says here. B, if we run into Joe Rogan now, and we tell him oh, that we remote little back. and we have this, little right. back. clear your mind. Very dim. <clears throat> oh, it's Zell. All right. We're just starting it. Who goes first here, though? Do we want to do it one at a time? Oh, no. Oh, no. oh Braden has consciously <laughs> turned himself. <laughs> party. party. Whew. This is so confusing. Okay. I don't yeah, know if you guys weird. are actually talking or no, not. No, I know. Talking. It's hard. Yeah, you can't see let's it. one at a time. Okay, let's, I'm trying to find Braden. Braden. here. Let's start with you. Okay, okay Braden goes first, okay. so... It's it's dark, dark. T- I c- projected. Man, muscular. Man. Oh, here it is. Baseball. Okay, here's Andrew's prediction. And that's all I can really remember. Black. Fitting. Hmm. It's quite vague. I gotta say. I know. Sorry, man. That's okay. It's our, you know, This is a. It's a skill. You must. We must. You must learn. I was trying. Andrew. All right. Clear your mind. It's going to be tough because my mind's never clear. <laughs> All right, here's his prediction. Your mind is an empty rice bowl. Your brain is black. All right. No images are projected. Send yourself down to Austin, Texas, and let me know what you see. See a sidewalk? Nice. I see that the sun's shining. Bright, no. glary. See a, a shadow kind of coming towards us. Fuck. As it gets closer, you know, kind of make it out. That's it's kind of it's about as tall as it is wide. Oh fuck! And as it gets closer, it's it's very, you know, there's just a lot of glare. It gets a little closer, and it's it's. it's Turns out it's a man, muscular man. Tattoos. He comes up to me and he says, "Hey man, I love your shit. Do you want to do some jujitsu sometime?" <laughs> it turns out it's Joe Rogan, and we become best friends. Oh shit! It's in the cards, right. boys. Listen. Hey, you listen. know what? I conflated Jason and Joe Rogan in my fucking remote viewing. Hey, remote viewing is between 20 and 80% accurate, and I think you're right in that wheelhouse, buddy. Dude, and, like, if you look at that, Jason is a thick motherfucker. Guy is jacked. Literally. He is as wide think, as he is tall. Think of a professional rugby player, like the best of the best. That's what he looks like. Dude, he's shaped like fucking Johnny Bravo. Yeah, he like, is. Yeah. Like, he's fucking and, huge. He, and as he walks around, he's so goddamn handsome that he's there's just shining. You just can't can't really look at it. it's like a bright light you can't yeah. look at well, it yeah, Andrew yeah said, it was the, hey listen that was the sunniest day there was when we were there too yeah so it, was it, it wasn't day. quite sunny then but it was sunny it was. that day definitely so then we see 
Jason. We go in to Joe Rogan Jason with him. Jason does love our shit. He does Jason love loves he our said shit. He loves our shit. And we became great friends with Jason. We did. Hundred percent. That, right? That's a that's fucking pretty good. That is pretty fucking close. I can't. Well, I'm not wearing this belt on my fucking shoulder for no reason, boys. There's, that was, I'm, I'm gonna say that was seventy percent accurate. That's right at the. That's like almost at the pinnacle of remote viewing. So I think that's pretty damn it's, good. It's amazing because this whole time I just I always thought it was just CTE, but no, it's not. It's like a remote viewing. <laughs> Turns <place>. out. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's all it was. This on a different point. Yeah, it turns out it's ESP. Yeah. Hell yeah. Your acronym's all fucked up. Forgot the N. So um so that's pretty fucking good. So we get into Joe Rogan, 120 bucks for the table. Oh. So there's it was Joe Rogan, Tony Hinchcliffe, amazing, Ron White, another dude, I don't remember who it was. Hans Kim. Was that the first guy? Yeah. There's a first. There was an opener, a second opener, and then like four headliners. But I don't remember the third, the fourth headliner. Yeah, dude. yeah. Dude, the craziest part about that, like Hinchcliffe killed it, obviously. But so good. Like Rogan is obviously working out material for a new special. Hundred percent. Because dude, he did like an hour and forty five minutes. We well, did like an hour and fifteen of his set, and then he was on stage for half an hour, taking questions and joking around and just fucking around with the crowd. Yeah, it was yeah. crazy. It was awesome. Like we had to lock up our phones and everything. It was really like cool. I've never really been to like a pro comedy show. Like I've been to some touring shows in Kelowna, but we don't really get like the big world class headliners. And you got three back to back to back: Ron White, Crazy. Tony Hinchcliffe, and Rogan. I mean, Joe Rogan. I never really enjoyed his stand ups too much, but anything live is just so much better. Well, he's so expressive, right? Like a lot of his humor is like his fucking facial expressions and what he's running around the stage yeah. and shit like that. And like seeing it in person, you get, you grasp it so much more. Like it was, so he it was great. He was great. He was a, Hinchcliffe though, got us is the best, is the hands down the funniest person on earth. Murdered everybody. He's so fucking funny. Man. And cause like the best part about it's like we locked up our phones. They mm. talked shit about everything. Yeah. You had, yeah. Like, what were those? They, yeah. they called the case something. I don't, I don't remember what they call them, but yeah, you go in, they, you put your phone in a case. And it like magnet and it has like yeah, like a security lock. Like a security tag lock. Like you put have to put it on the machine, it locks. If you need to use your phone, you go out of go go outside, they'll unlock it for you, you can use it, no problem, but you lock it back up. Which is I think is a fucking awesome idea for for small shows. It'd be hard to do on like a mass scale like that, but that would be a pain in the ass. Imagine but like, doing that, like a concert. Because there's what, like two hundred and fifty people there probably? Yeah. If that yeah. if that. Uh after the show I I uh, after the show's over I I'm like, Jason, come with me. Uh, we walk upstairs. We kind of just slip past the the secure stairwell up to the kind of the VIP. We go there and there's like the back room. I'm like, hey, I, can we can we get back there? Say hi to Joe. Give him a business card. And the guy's like, sorry, no, we're not allowed anyone. I'm like, well, what if I just walk there? I'm like, this guy, here's my bouncer. And he's like, the guy's like, well, he's way bigger than us. So please don't. <laughs> like, don't <laughs> just, please just don't do it. Uh, don't. And we're like, I was like, yeah, okay. So like, I was like, Let's go. There's a like a private balcony. So me and Jason went to the private balcony. We're just sitting there. We're like, well, hopefully someone comes up for a smoke. We can say hi. Or You're something. literally walking around the top of this fucking comedy club with Brock Samson. Yeah. And nobody's <laughs> yeah. saying shit to you. No one's saying shit. So we're sitting out there and then we're sitting out there. We're just, he's having a smoke. We're having a drink. Dude, we, were, we drank so fucking much at this comedy show. I was fucking wasted. Well, Jason was buying us triple whiskeys. Oh my God. Yeah. He's trying to fucking. <clears throat> he's trying to kill us. He's trying to Andrew kill was, me. Andrew was knocking his drinks off the table on purpose. So we didn't have to drink <laughs> I was and, not. That was fucking Mr. Texas. <laughs> oh, that's right. We had printing on my twenty dollar waters. We did see. We did see a couple and other making short there. jokes. So right, me, and Jason, awesome. me and Jason are up on the balcony. We're kind of sitting there, and then a security guard comes out, and he's like, "Oh shit! What are you guys doing out here? You can't be up here. You you have to go." To keep up to date with all things alien theorist theorizing. Follow us across social media on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, and Facebook. For updates on new videos and content on YouTube, don't forget to click like and subscribe and hit that notifications button to keep those eyes on the skies with alien theorists theorizing.